Good morning. We're back in this truck. Good we're morning. actually we're moving back to Florida. We decided, you know, we're just hopping back on 57. We're, we're not going to unload this here. And when he says we, it's just me and Peter. And Eve. So the girls okay. and James, they're staying. You know, we're over this. We're going to start a new life. Just joking. We're about heading downtown <laughs> right now. Good morning. It is morning, right? Yep. Still morning. We are on our way to our new apartment. I am with Christine and the kids. The boys and Evie have the moving truck. So we're going to get in there first and see it, but I'm pretty darn excited. I've been looking at this apartment for months on the screen, finally, virtually, virtually FaceTime. Cannot wait to just be in there and get our stuff settled. Are you excited to see my new apartment, Violet? Yeah. Yeah? Me too. What are we gonna do with there? Um, paint. Paint yeah. or play? Paint and play. Paint and play. We made it! It's my skyline. We messed up the four minute intro time lapse everybody. I don't know if Sarah took it or not, but I we had to show you this. Oh my goodness. Look at this brick. Okay. Mr. James is napping in his room. <gasps> What's in here? Our windows have cute little X's on them. I think Evie's gonna stay. <laughs> she looks, she looks more happier than she's looked in the last three days. Right? Vivi, are you gonna nap up there like Evie? <laughs> Perfect. Check it out. Car is detached. Do I still have my Chicago parking skills? I mean, I'm far away from the curb, but. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be perfect. This is only a temporary spot until we get the truck figured out. here. Christina is taking the kids to go nap at their apartment. Grant went with. My mom is coming here. Peter, actually a spot just freed up out in front. You've got lots to say. He wants to tell the story. Um, so Peter moved our car. He's going to do some stuff that he can bring in on his own. Um, and then Grant is going to come back. And really it's just the big furniture. And we gotta get to cleaning in here and get to like situating everything. 
but we're just focusing first on getting it all in. Why, hello. <laughs> we ended up having to take the door off to get the <laughs> mix stuff in. Goodness, so the last like big things are coming in now. I have a baby asleep on a mattress pad because you gotta do what you gotta do while moving. This little girl is quite nosy and with the door open, she's just very flustered by it all. So we're just in our future bedroom. But yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, now you're all relaxed. <sighs> just gonna be honest, moving day is always stressful. We had a simple plan and it became anything but simple. Um, but hey, it's, the sun is still up. We're making good pace. It was raining earlier and it stopped, so that was great. Just taking our wins. Look at all that mud. Many hours later, <sighs> it is empty. I just need to clear out the cabin and then make sure we have all like our rental pieces accounted for. And then Grant and I are gonna go return this truck. Truck is unloaded. The car is unloaded. Now, Grant went and got, he's actually in the same, we have parking zones here in Chicago. And since I don't have a city sticker yet, I he went to go grab some for me and one for Sue too. So he's putting a car, a sticker in Sue's truck, her car, truck, car. I'm putting this in mine and then we're gonna load up. We have to attach the car tow again to the U-Haul and then drive it on over to the U-Haul store, which is actually just a few miles down the road. And then we might be going to Christine and Grant's to have dinner there, check out. I am physically exhausted. One time I actually got a little embarrassed with Grant because we were carrying a glass like bookshelf in and like, it's called like muscle fatigue, he said. My forearms just like stopped working. So, but luckily it happened towards the end. We got everything else in. The apartment is an absolute and utter mess. We'll show you it I'm sure later, but we're here and the truck is unloaded still think we probably should have gone with the 26 footer but we're here all right it's like 8 30 or 9 o'clock i think we've just been catching up with sarah's mom uh christina and grant have been gone for a while we haven't done dinner so i'm running over to the grocery store because we live in the city again and so we live a few just a few blocks away so i'm walking over to the grocery store because it's up until midnight I'm gonna grab some irish soda bread from the jewel which is the greatest thing ever um, look at this snow. This is like, I need to like rest and rejuvenate after the moving aspect, like of the physical exhaustion. But like this right now was like pumping life into my veins of like this, this is it. And I know this is a dark shot, but can you see these beautiful houses, these three flats with all the stonework and everything? It's amazing. This right here, Jewel Irish Soda Bread. I'm about to buy, I think three of these. And we're probably gonna have this. I told Sarah we're each gonna get our own loaf. And we're probably gonna eat it all tonight. Actually, I'll get two. It's just around the corner. I can just come pick it up. This puppy's super excited. This puppy's super excited. But she doesn't know that she doesn't even get any of this pizza. Hi. 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 My name is Peter. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Um, I don't know. We didn't. I wasn't able to go to Xfinity, so I wasn't able to pick up the internet. So we have Eve's little TV out, and we busted out some DVDs. There we go. Where did you put in? The vow. Oh, yes. Because it's vow filmed is not yes. too far from here. We are like here, but like haven't like sunk in like where we are. Like we need to go on a morning walk. Sarah, I literally had that feeling walking to the jewel. Yeah. And I was vlogging. I was like, I'm exhausted right now. It's been days of of like yeah, exactly. non-stop like not it being by you not being by james not being by eve just like go 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 exhaustion i was like but walking this walk to jewel in these it streets like centered you. it like was giving me life oh gosh what kind of what kind of position is that 
Will you show them the hallway they're on too? Yeah. We will do an apartment tour tomorrow. This is James's room. I said I'm gonna do a tour tomorrow and I start a tour. What am I thinking? Okay, Peter said this is the rough and tough tour. So this is our long hallway. This is our bathroom. This is our dining room. Ay ay ay. This is our kitchen. Ooh la la. And our beautiful bedroom. That's that's something different. The air conditioning unit. I have our daily message on my phone. Where you find no love, put love, and you will find love. John of the Cross. So that's where our bedroom's at. Plus, look at this friggy, friggy thing that's going on with the ceiling here. It's like, it wanted to be cool and slanty. Then I was like, no, we don't want to be cool and slanty. I feel like somebody just like put like a quarter of a two by four there. It's just like first day on the job. I think it looks good. This is what you get in an old Chicago apartment. Yeah, we love it. Parks. That corner is definitely slanted. I am physically, mentally, and emotionally <laughs> exhausted. Well, thank goodness you have two days off of work. Uh, I have to run reports tomorrow. Though. I know, but like. I don't have to. Ring. I don't have to ever talk to anybody yeah. tomorrow. And most of like, now we just gotta make it home. And tomorrow we're probably gonna go on a drive, or a walk, or a train. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. <laughs>